Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and to celebrate the launch of my new children's book, Fitter, Healthier, Happier, I've recorded a series of four 10 minute workouts with really fun, interesting quizzes about the human body. And today's focus is all about the cardiovascular system and the circulatory system. So the lungs, the heart, the blood, really interesting stuff. I've got 10 questions with 10 exercises. Let's get warmed up. So first I'm gonna stretch up and over, bring that arm to the left, Bring the arm to the right. Remember, if you don't know the answer to the question, it's all good because I'm gonna give you an A or B option. So you can just shout out the answer, have a little guess. And even if you don't get them all right, it's not a problem because we're learning. And today, by the end of this workout, you're gonna know 10 interesting facts about the human body. So stretch left, stretch right. Next I'm gonna do is a little march on the spot and bring your knee up and across the body. So left to right, good. We're raising the heart rate, getting our muscles moving, waking up our joints and getting our body ready for our 10 minute workout. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Next one we're gonna do is stretch down, touch toes, and reach up. Touch toes, stretch up as high as you can on your tiptoes. Do so two more of those, stretch. Last one, and relax. Right, we're ready for the session, but are you ready for the quiz? Question number one is coming up. Now our first move we're gonna do, stretch up, and bring the knee into the hand. So we go left, right. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go! Left, right, okay, question number one on the quiz is, what's the name of the organ that pumps blood around the body? What's the name of the organ that pumps blood around the body? Is it the lungs or is it the heart? You tell me, is it the heart or the lungs? What pumps blood around the human body? Okay, we've got 15 seconds left. Right, stretch, left, right, bring those knees up high, come on, let's go, keep pushing. Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Fantastic start, love your energy, great effort. Workout one, complete. Okay, the answer is, oh, can you feel your heart beating really fast? There's a clue. The heart is the organ that pumps blood all around the body. So it helps pump oxygenated blood to all the muscles so we can really work out and push ourselves. Well done, okay. Number two, we're gonna throw some nice, Straight punches, okay? Off we go, let's go. Left, right, okay, 35 seconds. Question number two. Where in the body are blood cells made? Is it A, the kidneys, or B, bone marrow? Where are blood cells made? Come on, let's go nice and fast. Can we throw faster punches? So where are blood cells made? In the kidneys, or in the bone marrow? Come on, let's go. Almost there. Stretch, big punches, left. Right, 10 seconds on the clock. You're amazing, keep going, come, more effort, more energy, go, pump those arms, get the heart working even harder, and relax. Okay, brilliant, well done, we're loving it. We're enjoying this workout already. The answer to that question was, blood cells are made in the bone marrow, that's inside the bones, how incredible is that? Really interesting fact. Okay, number three, we're gonna do some kangaroo hops. So, hands up like this, Get your little joey in your pouch, so don't drop in your little joey pouch. And we're gonna hop left to right, okay? Are you ready? Number three, here we go. Okay, question number three. How many chambers does the heart have? Is it A, two, or B, four? How many chambers does the heart have? Keep going, left to right, really big kangaroo hops. Whatever you do, don't drop your joey. Hands in the pouch. Come on, let's go. Left to right, 15 seconds to go. The answer's coming up. What is the answer? How many chambers does the heart have? Two or four? Have a guess, have a guess, shout it out. In three, two, one. The answer is two, two is four. Four chambers in the heart, pumping blood around the body. Brilliant, well done. Remember that, four chambers in the heart. Okay, Whew, I'm out of breath. My heart is working hard, it's pumping so much blood. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna shuffle along and touch the floor. So shuffle along, touch the floor. Shuffle along, touch the floor. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, move the body. Shake it about left to right. Question number four. When we breathe, oxygen enters the body when we breathe in. But what leaves the body when we breathe it out? So we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out another gas. What could it be? Is it A, nitrogen, or B, carbon dioxide? What do you think we breathe out when we breathe? So we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out. What is it? Any guesses? In five seconds I'll tell the answer. Four, 
three, two, one, and relax. So we breathe in oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. Awesome, if you got it right, give yourself a point. Love it, you're doing great. That's four minutes complete, six more to go with six more questions. Okay, okay, next one up is gonna be frog hops. Frog hops are like this. You're gonna frog hop, so fingers to the floor, you hop forwards, you hop forwards. Little shuffle back, hop forwards, off we go. So hop forward for two or three hops and shuffle back. Next question, are you ready? What's the name of the thin muscle at the bottom of your lungs that helps us to breathe in and out? Is it A, the deltoid, or B, the diaphragm? So what's the thin muscle at the bottom of the lung which helps you breathe in and out? Is it the diaphragm or is it the deltoids? Keep going, hop and jump, little shuffle back, nice big frog jump, let's go leaping forward, leaping forward, oh and relax. Wow, that's tough. Okay, shake them off. So the thin muscle at the bottom of the lungs works like this. It's pushing and pulling up, pulling down. That's called the diaphragm. So well, that's a tough one. And the deltoid is actually your shoulder muscle. Here. This is your deltoid muscle. Right, five done, five to go. Oh, okay. Next one's gonna be a nice, fast, low sprint. So a nice, fast, low sprint, off we go. Okay, fast sprint. Next one, number six. What carries blood away from the heart? What carries blood away from the heart? Is it arteries or veins? A, arteries, B, veins. Oh, my legs are on fire. Okay, keep running, keep running. So what carries blood away from the heart? Is it arteries or veins? Keep going. 10 seconds, come on, faster, you can do this. Let's go faster, all the way. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and recover, relax. Ouch. Okay, the answer to that one was, what carries blood away from the heart is actually arteries. So arteries carry blood away from the heart. Well done. Brilliant, amazing, four to go. Get some air in the lungs, recover. Woo! I'm out of breath, right. Okay, next one. We're gonna touch the floor and jump up, let's go. Touch the floor, explode up. Okay, next question, number seven. What type of cell in our blood helps our blood to clot so we don't carry on bleeding if we get a cut? Is it A, white blood cells, or B, platelets? So what's the, what's the type of cell in our body which helps our blood clot? So if you cut yourself and you get a little scab, what's causing that? Is it white blood cells or platelets? Come on, let's go, what's the answer? Keep jumping, tuck those toes, reach up high, and relax. The answer is platelets. So if you cut yourself when you get a little bit of a blister or something like, what's causing the skin to, for, to, sorry, the blood to scab is called platelets, okay? So really, really important part, it's so essential. If we didn't, we just, well, we just keep bleeding. So we really need those platelets to clot and thicken the blood and therefore keep us safe. Brilliant, right. Okay, shake those arms off, shake the legs off. Next question, next exercise. We're gonna do some lunge jumps, off we go. So lunge jumps. Okay, question number eight. What improves your cardiovascular fitness? Is it A, watching TV, or B, running around outside. What improves our cardiovascular fitness? Keep going. So if that's too difficult, you can slow down a little bit. You can slow down like this. Go to step, or you can jump like this. Jump, 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 jump. Lovely stuff, keep going. Five seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, one. Wow, that's hard. Okay, deep breaths. The answer to that one is, of course, Watching TV doesn't really get our heart rate working, it doesn't really get our lungs moving, but actually running outside in nature, getting a bit of fresh air, that is amazing for our cardiovascular fitness. Okay, number nine, we're gonna go down the ground for some sit-ups. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put our arm behind, I'm gonna sit up using our abdominals, okay, so using our abs. Off we go. Okay, this is number nine. Question number nine, are you ready? Which cells in our body, or in our blood, carry oxygen around the body. So which cells in our blood carry oxygen around the body? Is it red blood cells or Iron Man cells? What carries blood, oh, sorry, what carries oxygenated blood around the body? Is it red blood cells or Iron Man cells? 
Keep going, stretch and sit up if you can. Nearly there, one more. Sit and then crunch. The answer is the cells in our blood which carry oxygen around the body are actually our red blood cells. And that's number nine. Let's stand up on our feet for our final exercise and our final, final quiz question. The exercise is this, hands on the ground, jump back, jump forward, stand up, okay? So like a burp, you go down, out, and up. You ready for the last question? Here we go, last exercise, last question. Why do we have hairs in our noses? Is it A, to filter the air we breathe in, or B, to help us smell farts better? <laughs> what could it be? Why do we have those little nose hairs, those tiny little hairs in our noses? Is it to help filter the air we breathe in, or to help us smell farts a little bit better? Keep going. Last five seconds and we've completed our workout. Three, one more, two, one, and relax. Well done, brilliant. Fantastic, I'm covered in sweat. My lungs are working, my heart is pumping so fast. That's the cardiovascular system right now, working together. Blood, the heart, the lungs, it's all an incredible system. And right now, we've worked it and it's gonna be fitter and stronger than before, so well done. The answer to the final question, of course, we do smell farts, but it's not the reason we have hairs up our noses. The reason we have little hairs up our noses is so to help us filter the air that we breathe in. So there you go, 10 questions, all about the cardiovascular and circulatory system. If you've got 10 out of 10, well done. If you've got four, three, two, one, we still learn something new. So well done, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to check out the other workouts where we learn about the other systems of the body. There's four in total. Go and find them, and good luck. Take care.